to apply the correct motion clarity settings we need to know if the game is playing at 30 60 frames 120 and unless you watch a digital foundry video uh, you don't know on the console so I'm gonna show you how you can get that information so I have here spider-man on full screen exclusive full screen which allows me to change the refresh rate of the TV and what you have to do if you're playing on PC or on console and anything you have to press this green button that the remote control has this green button repeatedly until you get the information on the screen and you get this VRR information and it's gonna tell you 60 Hertz when the game is playing at 60 Hertz so if I change it here to 120 you will see this information changes to 120 okay if I change this to 30 frames you will see this information changes to 30 frames so that's how you can know on the console or on PC what's going on so if you are at 30 frames per second the motion clarity setting that you need to use to get the smoothest experience is D Jotter 10 Motion Pro Medium. If you are at 60 frames per second, the motion clarity setting would be D Blur 10 Motion Pro Medium. And if you are at 120 frames per second, the best is just Motion Pro on high. Okay? So, the other thing that you need to understand is that for this motion clarity settings to work perfectly, you need to have a locked frame rate. There are some games on console that do not have that option. For example, if you watch the Digital, digital Foundry video about Saints Row, there is no locked frame rate option on console. So, in those cases, you cannot use this motion clarity settings. They are not going to work. For this motion clarity settings to work, you need to have a rock solid frame rate. The frame rate needs to be locked to either 30, 60, or 120, okay? So the, the best uh, setting for me, and the best case scenario you can encounter in the console is the game being locked to 60. So if the game is being locked to 60, you are going to apply these settings. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, again because I think these are the most, uh, the best settings basically. Uh, this is the best case scenario you can get. So what you have to do is just go, but let me show you first how you can be on the right mode. So you click here, this button, and this button is going to take you to this screen. You click on the three dots here, edit, edit inputs, and you go here to this uh, icon. So you, you, you need to know which HDMI port you are using just by looking at the back of the TV. If it's the first HDMI 1, 2, 3, so you select the HDMI port you are using, you scroll down to game console. You select that game console, you hit save, and now we're going to press this button, the settings button, and you're going to come here to settings, and we're going to select any mode that is not game optimizer, because game optimizer mode doesn't give you the options for that motion clarity. And I'm going to talk about input lag on a separate video. I'm doing this video to help... Uh, all of you that, uh, that need help, uh, in the, the input lag video can wait because the main reason of my channel and of, of my videos is to help. I, I care more about helping you than to demonstrate anybody that <laughs> the settings that I'm giving you are awesome or anything like that. That's irrelevant, really. So you come here. Basically, you select standard mode, select mode, standard mode, and you come here to settings, you go to clarity, and you go to true motion, 
and you select user selection and you're going to use dblur and medium you use dblur on 10 and motion pro medium okay for 60 frames per second game so games that are locked perfectly locked to 60 and they do not drop to 40 so if the, if the game is dropping to 40s and 50s constantly this is not gonna work it's gonna work when the game is achieving 60 frames but it's not gonna work very well but there are many games on console that they do have a very good and stable 60 frames per second game uh, frame rate so this is the setting that I, I am going to use the most and it is fantastic because it gives you in movement 240 frames per second motion clarity so what that means is if you have an LCD monitor that is 200, 240 Hz and you are able to play at 240 Hz that's the motion clarity that you would get okay or if you use 120 frames on this OLED TV with Motion Pro on high, you also get 240 hertz like in movement, okay? So this is amazing. It has very, very minor artifacts, almost invisible, and it feels very good. The input lag is good, and especially it looks amazing. So this would be my recommended setting. Every single game you can do this, you're going to have a super high end visual experience is gonna be amazing so yes so let me also show you in case that you do this oh, oh it's too dark I cannot use it you step on select mode to get that brightness you click one 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 three one 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 and you change this EOTF to HLG okay so with HLG you come here to advanced settings brightness dynamic tone mapping on so HDR tone mapping on and that is going to give you the brightness that you need to use this okay and use the color gamut you can use auto detect 60 or 65 because the colors are a little bit washed out with that dynamic tone mapping on so just to get that saturation back a little bit I would recommend you to use color depth 65 or use color gamut or native and reduce the color depth to 50 okay and then use white balance warm 50 okay so that's how you can get that brightness br uh, back if it's too bright then you can reduce the screen brightness you go to advanced settings go to brightness reduce that screen brightness I would do it 47 that's what I would do because motion pro medium doesn't reduce the screen brightness as much as high so there you go if you want to know which one of the settings should I use should I use the settings and I'm gonna post the, the settings on the comments okay and on the description of the video so you can read each setting so what's the setting for 30 frames for 60 and for 120 so which one should I use I don't know what's the frame rate that the game is using just to use this green button press that repeatedly until you get that information okay and there you go the other thing you can do is just have the game uh, just use game optimizer mode and usually when you use game optimizer mode you can press the settings and it's gonna tell you here if it's 60 30 or 100 so maybe that's easier uh, so yeah let me know if you have any questions again for me the most important thing is to help uh, the people who want to do, uh, you know, basically want to try the settings and they don't know how or if this is not working. I am doing these videos for you more than for anybody else because I want to help and this is a priority for me. So if I was going to do the input lag video today, but the input lag video is just to demonstrate that the settings I am recommending is actually very good and usable but for me it's more important and this has priority to help those that uh, they don't have this they don't know this specific specific uh, things that I am assuming that oh everyone knows that no 
because not everyone plays on PC with all these numbers and these programs to tell you what's going on, okay? That's the reason why I know this, because I am always playing on the PC like this, okay? <laughs> because sometimes on PC we care more about these numbers than the game itself. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And we spend half an hour playing with the settings instead of playing uh, the game itself. But, you know, thanks to that, <laughs> I, do, I do know, uh, you know, this stuff, basically. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions.